All right, all right. Greetings and peace, everyone. Welcome to the Committed Relationships and Spiritual Activity YouTube channel, aka Krisha. I am your host and your personal development consultant, Neo, and I'm here to share some info with the people. All right, this is some new information that I have amassed throughout the years of my personal development process journey i should say my pdj personal development uh, process <laughs> personal development journey and um also years of studying people in general a variety of different people not none really into specific specific besides my f i mean including my family first and foremost because our family is our first studying of human existence and also relationships if you really realize it if you really think about it it's our first experience of relationships so that is the best place for us to start regarding learning about relationships and using that as a reference point and that's what i did for many many years um and also going through my personal develop my spiritual development journey so what i really have learned throughout the past i say week or two and also utilizing my own subliminal messaging i've come to learn the importance of being holistically healthy and holistically healthy when a lot of people hear that they think of being physically healthy as far as holistic health but no me now understanding the mind and how the mind is literally all it is our mind that controls all aspects of our life and i go into more details about that on my other youtube channel at neo oneness subliminals neo oneness subliminals you can go ahead and, and type that up in the search bar at youtube on youtube and anyways it controls all aspects of our life and if a person is unaware of their mind then they're more than likely not going to be as successful as they can be as the potential that they have in life and that means in all areas of their life including and now this is holistic health this is my definition of holistic health and being holistically healthy it is it includes financial health it includes our spiritual health our mental and emotional health our physical health and our physical health and you can include your relationships too but all of those are in correlation with our relationships they all have play a major part in our relationships including in particular first and foremost our our mental and our spiritual health if a person is not mentally and spiritually and emotionally aligned and balanced then their relationships are more than likely going to suffer um their relationship within within themselves first and foremost most and also with other people that's why you see a lot of people who are in dysfunctional relationships and they continue to have dysfunctional relationships with other people because they themselves are dysfunctional within themselves they are unsettled on all of these levels or the major important levels and the first important levels to be balanced and healthy are spiritual healthy mentally and emotionally healthy that is the first and foremost thing that people have to get into order after that everything comes after that and that is your physical health you have to take responsibility of your own physical health also because it is your physical health that allows us you allows you to be able to do the things that you want and need to do and also to be able to stay focused on a variety of things that you have to be focused on a person cannot want to be a millionaire and want to um and they they figure out the ways to get to be a millionaire as far as they have to put in the work they can't want to be a millionaire but then they're sitting around eating eating uh eating a bunch of hamburgers from mcdonald's eating a bunch of mcdonald's just sitting around watching tv playing video games and just getting fat and getting that fat belly you know what i mean all those um 
the acne bumps all on the, on the face. And they could get to that point doing that, but it's going to be a heck of a lot longer and they might not be able to enjoy it as much because they're getting sick when you sit around and you don't do the adequate things necessary for your personal health so that you can stay healthy you will get more you will get sick often but if you do the correct things as far as getting the proper amount of energy especially being in the sun getting the exercise drinking adequate water adequate sleep getting adequate sleep and being at peace with yourself getting some form of meditation even if you're just sitting by yourself it just doesn't have to be the traditional meditation because there's a variety of different of meditations allowing yourself to be balanced physically and chemically will allow you to be able to focus a lot more effectively and longer with whatever it is that you want to do throughout the day and your your relationships will be much more peaceful and smooth the top reason why a lot of people are not having successful relationships is because a lot of them are chemically imbalanced within our bodies we have to have a certain balance chemically and when you eat so much and you overeat that will take off your your chemical ba balance and when you under eat and if you don't get all of the other things that you need, like the proper sunlight, the proper exercise, the proper sleep, and the proper amount of water, then you're going to be chemically imbalanced still too. You're not gonna feel right. And I'm telling you, I know the difference because when I first did my two weeks fast, I did a, a two week water fast, and I didn't realize that there was some things that I, I, I should have done too, I should have, could have worked out a little bit more that's the reason why i was extremely skinny in one of my videos way back way back one of my old videos i was on a fast and i cleansed out completely my energy shot up to to, to the roof 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 extremely high energy and i was extremely psychic which i am still extremely psychic on, on but not as how as i was when i did that fast and that's to where i can i tell uh, that's the reason why I, I created that video about the world. The world has ended, but people don't realize it. And I'm telling you, there's a lot going on around this world that a, that the news is not telling people, but they don't want to tell people because they don't want people to be uh, in what's it called mass hysteria about the stuff that's going on, about the animals being, they're dying, the fish, they're dying. The planet is literally falling apart, but this is not what this video is about. So I'm not gonna, gonna tell you, I'm not gonna go into detail and I don't wanna scare too many people. The people that's not ready to hear that news, it might distraught them and they might go crazy and wanna kill themselves. But this is type of information that comes through when you are on a highly psychic level. So when you are holistically healthy, that's the other thing you're gonna realize too, that you're gonna get on a higher psychic level than than most people especially most people here in america because the americans have been taught to overeat that's why they eat they've been told to eat three times a day breakfast lunch and dinner which that is a huge huge no-no if you are an understanding of holistic health you have to skip meals definitely and, and you got you can choose whatever meal you want to skip but regardless you can't have a ton of food in your system if you're not taking care of yourself in all of the other ways and healthy um getting the other aspects of health in control so that you can come back into that balance because a lot of people here in america they've been told to eat those three times a day but they aren't doing the other things to stay in good health so for me i certainly skipped uh, breakfast that's the first meal that I absolutely skip. I already know the fasting helps. That fasting between the time that I go to bed all the way until 12 or later is ex extremely important. That allows my body to cleanse all of any type of junk that it currently has in its body previously from the day before. And me getting exercise helps out a lot throughout the time that I'm fasting in the morning to noon and i drink lots lots of water and i'm telling you throughout that time there's so many things that i can do i can focus on reading i can focus on writing um my workouts are more effective and that is a time where i usually choose to 
speak to people about whatever conversation that I want to have because I'm much more conscious. I'm mindful. That is being mindful. Being mindful is being able to be in the moment, being conscious of what's going on around you, being highly conscious of what you are saying, knowing how and when to say certain things. And um, you can perceive how other people feel while you are in a conversation with them because you are mindful in the moment. People who are not mindful, the ones who have not cleansed themselves out and who don't eat right and who, who are heavy TV watchers, they are not as mindful in the moment whenever you are speaking with them as they think they are because their mind wanders while, the, while you are speaking to them. And that's why I tell you, if you really want to start your holistic health, you got to stop watching TV. If you have not went on your TV fast, I did my TV fast years ago and TV. I, I did my uh, TV fast years ago. And what I mean by TV fast is literally cutting out TV completely, not even doing it a, a little bit until you fully cleanse out all of the garbage and you stop any more garbage from coming into your mind and your brain because it is the brain that does the processing and whenever you watch tv and you watch it heavily those are images going into your brain that your brain has to process and the more that your brain has to process all at one time the more difficult it is it's to uh focus that's why you see that's why there's a lot of tv watchers who are heavy tv watchers they can't focus on reading they can't read a book and they don't want to read a book because they can't sit down and stay focused and then when you speak to certain people that's the reason why some people when you're in a conversation with them they can't listen carefully and they're really not listening active listening because there's a difference between hearing and active listening active listening is when you are completely mindful in the moment of what the person is saying you're you're hanging on to every word that they're saying and you're conscious of the energy that they're speaking with also that's when you really really get good at good at it and i'm really really good at it now and i have to be now that i do personal development consultations and relationship consultations and I share this information that I've learned throughout the years of my analyzing and doing my own meditations and understanding life in general uh, by myself and getting my mind on a higher level that is way above average. And this is just pieces of information that I wanted to share here. There's so much more information to share, but I'm just bouncing all over the place. But that TV, what it does is heavy watching it um, it scrambles the average person's mind who has not done the personal development work to be able to um, be protected from all of those images. And meditation does balance a person's uh, mind and brain. So if you got to get that meditation, it definitely helps out. Even if you do it like five to 10 minutes a day, the traditional way or just sitting down by yourself, relaxing, relaxing in the sun by yourself with no cell phone. If you can help it, no music, just sit there in nature, preferably, or if you can go sit in your, in your backyard by yourself, something like that. That's what I do a lot of times. I just go to the park and I just sit in the sunlight, uh, breathe, breathe deeply and slowly sometimes i'll hold my breath for i think it's like six seconds so that i can get all of that energy into my body and circulate it and i do a lot of walking too walking helps out circulate the body and the energy throughout our body that's why we feel a lot better when we go for at least a 30 minute walk if not longer so you got to go for a walk to circulate that that energy and your blood circulation to go through your body and to also cleanse out the toxins because the body heats up so that it could liquefy the toxins that we currently have in our body. Once it's liquefied, it then must transport the toxins outside of our body. Those people who are heavy TV watchers and they sit on their butt all, a lot, a lot more times, those usually have those fat guts and butts, and that's where the toxins are stored 
in your fat gut, in your fat butt. So if you see people with those heavy droopy butts and, and guts, a lot of times those are waste. That's waste. And your, your, your body needs to cleanse it out through your, your sweat, uh, your breathing. I think it's breathing. Uh, I've heard throughout your, your lungs breathing techniques you can get it out there and definitely your colon so when you poop when you're pooping a lot that is good because you're getting the waste out and i'm not too sure about the the lungs thing but i just heard something about through your lungs i haven't really uh, validated that yet but i know it comes out through our sweat and our colon which is our poop and we got you got to poop it out and drinking lots lots of water helps out too so adequate water and adequate exercise helps remove all of the toxins and the more you do it the more you can cleanse out and i'm telling you when you cleanse out you feel so much better and then the energy within yourself your body can trant uh can circulate much more effectively efficiently and on a higher level that way you can think higher because you have to also remember that our brain it needs water water and also energy water and energy those two work together in our brain allowing us to be mindful in the moment our memory is increased our vision is on a higher level to have sharper image uh, vision whenever I get cycle of energetically balanced and hydrated balanced I can see much better even though I do wear glasses but I still even with the glasses I see even better when I get all of those things together um, so you need the energy in your brain too. And for those people who've been wanting to read more, but they can't because of their focus, you probably have been watching too much TV. You probably have not been getting enough water in your system. And I'm telling you, some people need more water than others. So you got to sometimes drink half of a gallon of water in a day. And for some people, you got to make time to, uh, be near, a bathroom because i'm telling you you drink that if your if your body is not used to that water coming in because you got to get it used to drinking a certain amount of water then you're going to be going to the bathroom often so you got to get you got to understand that just try it out find a time to just drink lots and lots of water all day every day and you'll see the difference and you got to decrease that eating skip Definitely the first meal, that breakfast, until 12 or later. Sometimes I go to uh, 2 o'clock, especially when I'm focused on either exercising, exercising, writing, and reading, doing other stuff. Sometimes I'll go not eating until like 3 o'clock, and it won't matter to me because I'm so focused on something else. I have adequate water. And sometimes because I have so much water in my system as reserves, I can drink one cup of water in the morning and not have to drink until like five o'clock, six o'clock later on that day. If not later, sometimes too. It depends on, on the amount of physical activity I'm doing also. So I'm always aware of that. So me now, I've been doing so much work on my body as far as um, keeping it in great health now i'm i'm aware of when my water levels are low when they're getting lower because my brain feels different and my eyes starts to get dry um and i can feel it inside my stomach too when it starts to dry up because your insides are supposed to be flu fluid fluid like it's supposed to be wet just like a fish is supposed to be in water and it's supposed to stay wet to stay alive where our insides are supposed to stay wet with distilled water and that is the water to drink that is the body's water whatever we drink it turns into the body turns it into distilled water anyways so me knowing that i was saying well distilled water is nature's water so we might as well just drink that and then it won't have to worry about converting it into distilled water because it's already distilled water so I've been drinking that for many, many years now, and it has been doing great for me. And uh, it keeps me in great shape. 
and besides my hairline and my facial hair I literally don't look too much different from my high school pictures I looked at it at myself and then I asked my nephew one day I was like look at that picture and look at me what difference do you see in that and then he, he sat there for like two or three minutes and he couldn't tell the difference <laughs> and, and that's how it is with a lot of people who see me from high school I look pretty much the same and that's because uh, number one I never accepted the belief of me being getting older. And number two, I drink lots, lots of water and I keep stress out of my life as much as possible, including stressful people. So now we got to go with the finances, the finances, you got to go ahead and start paying attention to your beliefs regarding your finances. A lot of people such as me come from a not so wealthy background and spending time with my mother she does not have positive beliefs regarding her finances and as far as um being wealthy and understanding that it is um natural and okay to be financially abundant and me changing my beliefs utilizing my subliminals and also reading books from like Robert K Kiyosaki the Rich Dad, Poor Dad books and watching a lot of other videos on YouTube that that has anything that I can find of wealth that has changed my mindset and then which in turn changes my overall auric field and then more and more prosperity and wealth comes into my life. Just like this morning, the reason why I, I am doing this recording right now is because for the past few months of my changing of my beliefs, I woke up for the first time ever where I literally felt like everything is in order for myself. And I literally felt like I did not have to go and pursue anything or anyone because I felt whole, holistic this morning. And I still feel that way this morning is not as much as I did when I, when I woke up, but I still feel good and extremely peaceful. So with my studying also about how we have to feel whole holistic inside first, then all of the extra material possessions to material success, the career success and all that other stuff comes into play. I know that I'm in the right space right now. I have to continue to stay in this this mindset and this energy state as long as possible just like right now i'm about to go back outside and get some more sunlight and bring in more of that energy so that i can keep my auric field cleansed and i can stay on a high energetic spiritual state of consciousness as long as possible and i'm i'm excited to see what else comes 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 into my life the rest of this day and the rest of this week so you got to change your financial beliefs and you could do that by subliminals there's tons of subliminals on youtube for free i have some on my youtube channel or you can get a customized one as i have customized my 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 own you can get customized ones from my from me customized videos subliminal videos and customized subliminal audios i love using the audios because i can go through the whole day exercising uh walking and doing whatever else playing my subliminals on my phone with my bluetooth headsets i can walk around the house i can i can exercise and sometimes i use my subliminals while i'm even playing video games for the ones that i don't have to think much um, I watch those like driving. I play my subliminals in the background too. I'm telling you, my mindset has changed completely. I have even more confidence within myself. So those subliminals definitely do work. You can get some from me too. So you can check my YouTube channel out. And um, you can contact me about those. Let me see. Um, I talked about the physical, the mental, and the physical does play a part in our mental state of being. So whenever a person is chemically imbalanced as far as their physical body, it does mess with their mental body. So you, you have to go and cleanse, do a cleanse, go, go throughout YouTube and check out different cleanses. You can do whatever you want, whatever feels comfortable to you. Do a physical cleanse, 
of your body and telling you and you will be amazed at how much more calm, serene you will be throughout the day. And you have to pay attention to the different types of things that changes your chemical balance within your body. And that sugar definitely will change your chemical um, mix. So going without sugar does help out uh, with the cleanse and helping you get back balanced. The caffeine chemically imbalances people. So that's not good to drink that caffeine all of the time, every single day. That's why a lot of people are physically unhealthy and they're not able to stay focused for long periods of time and they're not uh, able to be relaxed for long periods of time because they get that caffeine in them regardless of how it is, whether it be coffee, uh, Red Bull, whatever. It's not good to have that caffeine in your system every single day. You have to give that a break too. And you have to decrease that TV, if not completely go on a fast. And you gotta um, get out of that TV addiction. I realized when I was looking at some of my family members, I realized that TV is an addiction too. That is an addiction. And I used to have that addiction years back where as soon as I come home, that's one of the first dang things that I would do is turn on the TV. And then after I went on that started before that started that TV fast, I just got out of the habit out of grabbing the remote and turning on the TV. So as soon as I grabbed that remote, I'm nope. And I put it down and I go get undressed and do whatever else. And I just leave the TV off and until the point now I can go weeks and days without watching TV. And I only watch TV every so often, maybe like once or twice a week in particular NBA playoffs time. I love watching that. So I do watch that when the time comes. But other than that, I know to just avoid watching TV. So if you want more information and you want to, uh, you got questions, comments and concerns, you can email me at let me see here. I usually give out my committed relationships at gmail.com one. I like that one for my relationship conversations. So go there for that. But as far as mental health, mental health stuff and subliminals, you want to email me at neo oneness. That's N E O O N E N E S S subliminals s u b l i m i n a l s at gmail.com i will put that in the description also so you can just copy and then paste that into your email client and send me your information there or, or whatever it is you want to talk about and i'm going to go ahead and get out of, out of here definitely click the like button if this has helped you in any shape or form including you it interested you Share this this link the um, to this video on your social media and anywhere else. Anybody that you feel might be interested in it, definitely subscribe here if you would like to hear more information. Click the bell button if you would like to get updates when I update new, upload new uh, videos. And thank you very much. And until next time.